Welcome to Chatbook Pro. Please accept terms and privacy policy and log in. The first time you log in, you don't need a password. The first time you use Checkbook Pro, you will be presented with a quick walkthrough. Here you can see how to create a new account. An account in Checkbook Pro can be any place you keep your money. It could be the name of an account in a bank or even simply money in my wallet. Next, you create a group. A group in Checkbook Pro pertains to a field of financial activity, such as your home finances or your Amazon business. Why is the account and group concept important? Because you may be using multiple bank accounts to handle a field of financial activity, such as your Amazon business. Or you may be using the same bank account to pay for multiple groups or areas of activity, such as your home expenses and your business expenses. These are the categories. Checkbook Pro creates order out of this chaos. Here we are on the main interface of Checkbook Pro. This is the new transaction screen. This is the main area where all the transactions are displayed. What is shown here depends on your selections in the left menu. By default, all your accounts are selected, all your groups of activity are selected, all your income categories and expense categories are selected. You can deselect some of the items. Here, I am deselecting Bank of America and Amazon Business. By the way, if you want to delete an account or edit an account, you can do that by right-clicking. You can only delete something that is empty and does not have any current transactions. You can right-click categories and deselect everything. As you can see, everything has disappeared from the main screen. Right now, I just want to find out how much I spent on food between November 1st and 15th. You can change these dates as you like. I am selecting food from expense categories. I have selected home finances under groups and selected US Bank under accounts. Those are my filters and you can see the results here. Let me show you how to enter a new transaction easily. Select the date here. Today's date is pre-selected. You can toggle expense or income. Select the category. Enter the amount. Enter the payee or payer. Enter your comment. Select the group. Select the account. Click Save. And here it is. There are two ways to enter a new transaction. You can either use the rapid input, which is what I mostly use, or you can click the new button if you want to enter more details. You can select the category, enter the information, and browse and select the receipt image if you want. You can click Save if you are done and go back to the main screen. Or if you have a lot of receipts to enter, you can click Save and Stay and continue until you finish. Click Business Expense if applicable. Click Home to return to the main screen. Let me show you the report feature. Before that, let me summarize. The way to enter new transactions is use the new button or rapid input. Once you have your transactions here, you can use the filters on the left. You can select the bank account you want, the groups or areas of financial activity, and the categories you wish to be displayed. And whatever is relevant to you will be displayed here on the main screen. Now you can transform this into a usable report by clicking the Report button. For report, you have three options. The first one is the summary report, where your income and expenses are listed by category totals. And it generates a summary report. Would you like to see it? Yes. 
This is the typical format of a summary report. Expenses and income are listed by category totals for the chosen period of time. Another option is the detailed report which will simply show you all the transactions. It will automatically name it with date and time. Would you like to open it? Yes. This is an example of a detailed report. It shows you all the transactions that you had. The third option is receipts. This generates a PDF file which contains all the receipts for the date range and transactions you selected. It is very handy. This is an example of a PDF receipt report that you created. Your receipts are included inside a newly created PDF file and each receipt has the date and other details listed next to it. Let us go back to the main screen. Data displayed above reflects your selections of accounts, groups and categories in the left panel. If you go under Settings, you can see the refresh mode and you can make it automatic or manual. Automatic is selected by default. If you have a slow computer and thousands of transactions, manual may be the better option. You can select whatever currency you want here. All major world currencies are listed. You can create a new password if you want. Depending on your country, you can set your date format. Back to main screen. This button is for you to enter your serial number. You can buy one on our website, checkbook.pro.